veteran from the special forces. I got injured in combat, post my combat. While I was recovering in hospital, I started developing ideas for executing social impact projects. In 2019, I joined Major Vivek Jacob, who has been uh, pioneering a lot of initiatives. So since then, we have been uh, working on multiple social impact projects for people with disabilities, for the youth of this country, uh, ecological restoration, so on and so forth. Right. So CLAW is a team of ex-Special Forces soldiers. CLAW stands for Conquer Land, Air, Water. We are a team of ex-Special Forces soldiers in very, with very, very high degree of proficiency in all three elements of land, air, and water. These are skill sets like extreme mountaineering, survival skills, high altitude endurance, uh, skydiving, scuba diving. You know, uh, These are skill sets that we pick up in very, very high degrees for efficiency in combat. To be able to execute our task, we need mastery over the terrain mastery over the elements of land, air, and water, right? So we pick up these skill sets of skydiving, having scuba diving, uh, mountaineering, and high altitude endurance to very, very high degrees. We realize is that these skill sets have uh, two ways. It can be used as a therapeutic intervention for people with disabilities. Adventure therapy is an institutionalized uh, thing across the globe, right? It's an institutionalized thing across the globe where it is practiced as a therapy for people with men mental health issues, people with various physiological conditions. Particularly, scuba diving has been very, very beneficial for people with disabilities, people recovering from spinal cord injuries. The depth and the pressure of the water uh, acts on their body uh, in multiple ways. The regulated breathing, the pressurized uh, oxygen, the pressurized air that they breathe. All of this has uh, deep physiological benefits for people with disabilities and non-disabled people as well. And has all adventure sports have severe mental health benefits. So we started applying our skills in therapeutic adventure therapy, you know, basically using adventure sports and the outdoors for healing people, right? What we also realized in this journey is that these skill sets can also be repurposed for developing multiple skill specialization courses where you use these skill sets as the base skill and then you add domain specialization. For example, you have high altitude trekking, uh, skill, then you can learn high altitude wildlife tracking while you can become a high altitude cinematographer, you know, or you can become an environmental scientist. So similar, this is one example. So like that, we have mapped multiple uh, domains and we are adding domain specialization and we are uh, developing multiple courses. And through the skill ministry, we are certifying people in these courses, right?